Genesis 1. Genesis is the very first book in the Bible. And it's in the Old Testament. And that's where our lesson's coming from today. Before we do our lesson, we're going to give ourselves a big hug. So take your right arm, put it over your left arm. Take your left arm, put it over your right arm, and squeeze really, really tight. And that's a hug from all of the teachers and pastor at the church. And then we're going to do a big, big hug. We're going to stretch out our arms. We're going to put our arm, right arm over our left arm and our left arm over our right arm. We're going to squeeze really, really, really hard. And that's a big hug from Jesus. And we've been missing all of you, and we're glad one of, one of these days we're going to get back and we're going to be able to do the things we did before. We just got to wait on it. It's just going to happen soon. Our lesson's about creation. Do y'all know what creation is? It's in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Who is God? God is our Heavenly Father. He's Jesus' Heavenly Father. The earth didn't have any shape, and it was empty. Darkness was all over the surface of it. At that time, the ocean covered the earth. The Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. God said, let there be light, and there was light. God saw that the light was good. He separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and he called the darkness night. There was evening, and there was morning, and it was the first day. This is when he separated it. This is daylight. This is nighttime. God said, let there be a huge space between the waters. Let it separate water from water. And that's exactly what happened. God made the huge space between the waters. He separated the water that was under the space. And he said, there was evening and there was morning. And it was the second day. And this is what it looks like when he separated it. He had the water and then he had the sky. And he's going to put some things in the sky, but he had water. And he had the sky. God said, let the water under the sky be gathered into one place. Let dry ground appear. And that's exactly what happened. God called the dry ground land. And he called the waters that were gathered together oceans. And God saw that it was good. Then God said, let the land produce plants. Let them bear their own seeds. Let them be trees on the land that bear fruit with seeds in them. Each kind of plant or tree have its own kind of seed. And that's exactly what happened. The land produced plants and each kind of plant had its own kind of seed. The land produced trees that bore fruit with seeds in them. Each kind of tree had its own kind of seeds. There was an apple tree, and an apple has apple seeds in it. There was a pear tree, and pear trees have pear seeds in them. There was an orange tree, and it had orange seeds in them. And God put seeds in all of those fruit so that they would reproduce and make more. Then God said that it was good. Let them bear their own seeds, each kind of them, and that's exactly what happened. The land produced plants. Each kind of plant had its own kind of seeds. The land produced trees that bore fruit in it. Each kind of tree had its own kind of seeds. God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was day. And it was the third day. The land produced its plants. They produced 
bell peppers, and bell peppers have bell pepper seeds in them, and it produced other kinds of plants. The tree, God saw that it was good. There was evening and there was day. There would be lights in huge space of the sky. Let them separate the day from the night. Let them serve as signs to mark off the seasons and the days and the years. Let them serve as lights in the huge space of the sky to give them light on earth. And that's exactly what happened. God made two great lights. He made the larger light to rule over the day. He made the smaller light to rule over the night. He also made the stars. And we have stars in our ceiling, boys and girls. And when the lights are turned off, they light up. God made two lights, the moon and the sun. He also made the stars. God put the lights in the huge spaces of the sky to give light on the earth. And he put them there to rule over the day and rule over the night. And he put them there to separate light from darkness. God saw that it was good. And there was evening and there was day. And there was morning and it was day Four, God said, let the waters be filled with living things. Living things, he's talking about fish and turtles. Let birds fly over the earth across from the huge space of the sky. So God created the creatures. And when I think about creatures, I think about dinosaurs. Because I think God would have called them something else. So we're going to consider the creatures, the dinosaurs, and we even have a crocodile in here too. So God created the creatures of the ocean. He created every living and moving thing that filled the waters. He created every kind of bird that flies, and he saw that it was good. And this is the birds. Look at all these different colored birds. There's pink birds, black birds, gray birds, red birds, brown birds, white birds. He put all kinds of birds in the sky. God said, let the land produce all kinds of living. There was evening and there was morning and it was day five. God said, let the land produce all kinds of living creatures. And this is some of the living creatures that God done. He did the birds, he did lions, he did elephants, he did deer, sheep, he did bears, bears, giraffes, kitty cats, squirrels. God did all of those. He made every single thing that was on the earth. He made all kinds of creatures that move along the ground. And why did we say those creatures could have been? They could have been dinosaurs. God said, let the land produce all kinds of living creatures and there would be livestock. Livestock is goats and mules and horses and cows. Those are all livestock. And those are usually animals that stay in a barn and creatures that move along the earth, and wild animals like tigers and lions. Those were some of the wild animals. And there would be all kinds of them, and that's exactly what happened. God spoke all of this into existence. God made all kinds of wild animals. He made all kinds of livestock. And what's livestock? It's cows and horses and goats and pigs and sheep. Let there be all kinds, and that's exactly what happened. God made all kinds of wild animals. He made all kinds of livestock. He made all kinds of creatures that move on the ground, and God saw that it was good. Then God said, let us make man in our likeness. Let them rule over the fish in the sea, and the waters and the birds that fly in the air. Let them rule over the livestock and over the whole earth. 
let let the creatures that move along the ground. And here's some of the animals. And here's some of the fish, the whales, the dolphins, the sharks. And God made all of these too. So God created the man in his own likeness. He created him in the likeness of God. He created them male and female. God blessed them. He said to them, have children, increase your numbers, fill the earth and bring it under control, rule over the fish in the waters and the birds of the sky, rule over every living creature that moves on the ground. Then God said, I am giving you every plant on the face of the whole earth that bears its own seed. I'm giving you every tree that has fruit with seeds in it. All of them will be given to you for food. I am giving you every green plant to land the ant of the land animals. And I am giving you birds of the air for food. I'm also giving you plants to all the creatures that move on the ground. I'm giving them to every living thing that breathes. And that's exactly what happened. The man, the first man, his name was Adam. And Adam's wife was named Eve. And God created them. He created them in his likeness. So this is Adam and this is Eve. And they're in charge of all of these animals. All of the trees, all of the plants, all of the fish, all of the birds, all of the wild animals. And God saw what he made, and it was very good. So that would have been a two thumbs up. And there was evening, and there was morning, and there was day six. So the heavens and the earth and everything in them was completed. But the seventh day, God had finished the work he had been doing. So on the seventh day, he rested from all of his work. God blessed the seventh day, and he made it holy. He rested on the seventh day. After he had created everything, he rested from all the work he had done. Our God is awesome. He created the planets. He created Neptune and Mercury and Venus and Earth. Earth is where we live. The moon and the sun, Mars, Jupiter, Saturn. Saturn has many rings around it. Uranus only has one ring around it, but our awesome God created all of these. He created everything. Our God is so awesome.